Hello everyone, my name is Owen. I'm an occupational therapy student working with the Arizona Technology Access Program. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the quad stick controller. And this is just going to be a very basic introduction to the controller. I'm just going to talk about um, the different parts of the controller and how to download the software necessary in order to optimize the controller for users. This device is the quad stick controller. This allows people with disabilities to play video games who otherwise cannot access a standard gaming controller. This controller use, uses sip and puff functions in order to allow users who are unable to access a standard gaming controller the ability to perform inputs using their mouth, um, whether sipping or puffing on the controller to get the end game controls to work. So right now I'm just gonna take you a little, through a little bit of a tour of the quad stick controller um, so we can kind of familiarize, familiarize ourselves with the device. On the quad stick controller, this has a mouthpiece. This is where users can put their mouth and control and move this joystick using neck movements. If you look here, um, just below the mouthpiece, there is a lip switch that's, that a user can use either their tongue, their chin, their lip, and just push the, um, the switch, which will serve as another input location um, for a user. It has three holes here, and these holes can be used with a combination of a sip, a puff, so you can sip on these two mouth holes at the same time for an input. You could just sip on one of the mouth holes for an input, or you could also puff on the mouth holes for an input. And there's a bunch of different combinations that you can do in order to get all the controls that you need to play a game from a standard controller um, and put onto this so that users can access their favorite gaming titles. This far hole right here is going to be how you change your game profiles or the controls for the game that you're playing. Since this controller is customizable and um, it may be different depending on which game you're, you're playing, it is beneficial for users to have different game profiles dependent on the game that they are playing. The quad stick controller can be customized to further optimize the experience of the user based on the game that they're playing. So for example, if a game requires that certain inputs are pressed more frequently, maybe those are moved to inputs on the mouthpiece that are more easily accessible um, to the user. That way, um, the, those controls that are having to be used over and over again aren't something that are going to be difficult for the user to grasp. On the quad stick, we have these white tubes here and they connect from our mouthpiece to the controller. And this is where the quad stick is gonna sense whether it's a sip or a puff that had happened. And in the back of the quad stick controller, you have the USB B, which is where the quad stick is going to connect from to a console, um, and how the quad stick receives its power. There's also a standard USB um, slot in the back. So on the quad stick, there's also lights up top. And if we go ahead and plug in the quad stick to a device, it will gain power and start powering up. And I'll show you the lights. So the quad stick lights will light up. It'll let you know which profile you're on and 
it'll actually flash when you make an input. So if it detects a sip or a puff, it'll flash a different color dependent on the input um, that is registered by the controller. If you've gotten a brand new quad stick, first what you're going to need to do is download the software called the Quad Stick Manager program, and that's going to allow you to customize a bunch of different things in the quad stick. So we'll go over that right now. If you've just gotten your new quad stick, first thing you're going to want to do is download the Quad Stick Manager program. First, you're going to open up your internet browser. It can be whichever browser that you choose, but I'm using Microsoft Edge because that's what what is on my computer already. So I'm going to open Edge and then I'm going to go to Google. Then I'm going to type in quad stick in the search bar. And then I'm going to go to the quad stick website. Over here in this area, you can see home shop, documentation, videos. We're going to go to downloads because that's where the program's at. So here it gives you a great summary of what the quad stick manager program is um, and i'm going to walk you through it as well so first we're going to go to the qmp v4 plus installer that's the quad stick manager program version 4 plus um, it is important to note that this is a windows program and it cannot be used with chromebooks macbooks and it strictly works on Windows machines. So that's important to note when you're downloading the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And as you see here, it popped up over here. So I'm gonna open the file and then my screen probably went black and I'm gonna hit yes. So I follow the steps to install the Quad Stick Manager program. So I'm going to hit next, 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 and then it's going to download the Quad Stick Manager program. And then now we're going to run the program to make sure it opens. Perfect. So as you can see up here, there's a bunch of different tabs. It goes over things like your game files, your joystick, so it lets you customize your joystick. Um, it's got miscellaneous features, um, and it's got a bunch of different things like the brightness of the LEDs. It lets you ad adjust the sip and puff thresholds. Um, so maybe if you if a person doesn't have um, as much capacity to deliver uh, a puff with enough pressure, you can adjust the threshold so it's a little bit more sensitive or less sensitive depending on the control of the user um, there's firmware so um, what the firmware of your quad stick is on um, you can update that here there's voice control voice files and then your game files this is really where we want to be at this is going to allow us to customize the controls of our quad stick based on the game that we want to play in the games file tab, this first box here, it'll show all the different profiles that we have loaded on our quad stick. Now, this isn't a brand new quad stick. This is something that we've been coding and um, messing with over the past few weeks. So our profiles will look a little bit different than yours. In the game files tab, this is gonna list all of your profiles or the controls for each different video game that you have coded into the quad stick device. So when you connect the quad stick device to your Windows computer, it'll show you which profiles you have. Now, it is important to note that your quad stick will not come with the same profiles that are on uh, the quad stick that I'm using here. We've been tweaking and modifying the controls of our quad stick for the games that, that we're program programming for in the clinic. These will all appear in this column in alphabetical order. Um, and it's the file name, so not the spreadsheet. As you can see, those could be different, different names and it shows up in a different order. 
But these profile, the file name here, these are all going to be alphabetical order, right? So it starts with, let's get this to move, starts with default. Um, and it's important to note that the default is always going to be the number one profile on this. And then it'll go AZ tap COD, COD, Fall Guys, GTA, Hitch, Minecraft. Um, and you get you get the gist. So it'll go down from there. In here, this next box here where it says quad stick factory profiles, this box. Um, there's a bunch of different preloaded profiles that you can take over and load onto your quad stick. Uh, and some of them, some of them you may like, or some of them you won't like. It just depends. You can open this up and play around with it a little bit. Um, but it's a pretty extensive list. This far right box that says user custom profiles. This is going to be where all the custom profiles that you yourself would make are going to be stored. Um, right now on my home PC, I don't have any custom ones made. They are all at the clinic so far. But when I do make a custom profile, it will be saved here. Uh, this video is not going to go over how to make those custom profiles, but another video will. So keep watching for that. The miscellaneous tab. You can control how fast your joystick works as a mouse, the brightness of those LEDs on the quad stick controller, the volume of the auditory um, cueing that it provides you when you make an input of the device, uh, your sip and puff threshold, so how hard you have to puff to get an input out or to provide an input to the controller, or how hard you have to sip or how light you can sip to get that same input. So there's a bunch of different things you can do in these settings as well to customize your experience with the controller. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. This was just a small tour of your quad stick device in the quad stick manager program. In the next video, we're gonna open up some of those game profiles or the controls of games and learn how to manage and operate the spreadsheets as well as some of the terminology that is included in in those spreadsheets so things you'll have to know in order to make those custom controls optimized for the user joystick tab you can adjust the sensitivity like the dead zones of your your joystick of the quad stick controller right here um this allows maybe someone with not as much um, range of motion in their neck, the ability to access the controller by moving the quad stick just a smaller amount. Um, it can also make it less sensitive, so maybe someone who doesn't have as good a, a motor control still be able to access the controller with a similar level of success as someone who has good range of motion and good motor control in the neck. So you can customize how far the controller will detect inputs both vertically and horizontally. So up here and here for left and right, as well as the dead, the dead zone, which is going to be that sensitivity of the joystick. So the smaller the number <clears throat> is going to be the more sensitive the controller is. Where the higher it is, is going to be a less sensitive joystick requiring more movement to trigger an input. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to keep watching our future videos because we'll cover topics like how to connect your quad stick controller to different consoles and how to code individual games for your quad stick controller. If you have any other questions or would like to set up an appointment to help you reach your gaming goals, please reach out to us at aztapgamingclinic at nau.edu or you can reach us by phone at 602-728-9501 or 1-800-477-9921 and just follow the prompts on the phone. Again, thank you guys for watching.